All right, in this video, we're going to talk about tennis and the 2021 Australian Open tournament that's going on right now. Uh, I've been learning about tennis lately, and so I was going to share what we've got going on. So, first of all, it seems that the biggest number in tennis is 27. And that is because the court for singles tennis play is 27 feet wide and the word tennis is 27 in the purest cipher. Now it also is uh, 36 feet wide for the doubles and see how tennis is uh, 36 in the reverse method. So just within the rules of the game and the size of the court you can see how the gematria is coded in to the game of tennis. Now tennis also equals 81 forwards in reverse. And a tennis court is 78 feet long. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not 81 feet long to be honest. But uh, yeah, I just thought that was interesting. Something I never, never knew before. Just that a tennis court 27 foot wide. Tennis 27. So with that introduction, we'll uh, talk about the 2021 Australian Open. Now this is the 109th edition and the 53rd of the Open Era, which is kind of like the modern era of the tournament. And the more interesting riddles and stuff that's happening is on the women's side. So we'll go into that. So we're going to look at the uh, women's bracket. So here's all the seeds. There's 32 seeds. Um, and then you have like unseeded players and qualifiers and all this stuff. It's like a huge bracket. And uh, I think there's like 128 that start out. But yeah, you have to win seven games to win. <laughs> seven games to win. And here's the top bracket where... We're down to the final four, basically, semifinals. And those games are gonna be those games are gonna be later today. But we've been kind of paying attention round by round, round by round, and it appears there's a very good football riddle that they're doing with this tournament. So as we know, uh, Tampa Bay just beat the Chiefs in Super Bowl Fifty Five. And Tom Brady got his seventh ring, and now he's called the GOAT of football, the greatest of all time, and all that kind of stuff. Well, we noticed this, there's a tennis player named Jennifer Brady. So I was like, all right, we got to pay attention to her. Here she is down here, the 22 seed. So there's a football number, like football's 22 players on the field. So she's been moving along, moving along. And, uh... Last round in the quarterfinals, she played a girl named Jessica Pegula. Now this girl, Pegula, her father and her family are the owners of the Buffalo Bills. And the Buffalo Sabres. So she's very connected to Buffalo. But whenever I saw that in this, uh, this bracket here, where Brady is... So it looked good for her to keep going. Let's see which bracket was which bracket was Pegula in. So there she is. So here she here she comes in section four. So when it got down to like she was facing this Svitonia Svitolina, and then we saw if she won that she would face Brady. It's like oh look at that you could have Brady and the Bills facing each other. Sure enough, she's like an unseated player, and she upset she upset uh, you know this number five ranked player here. But just think about how Tom Brady was the Patri was on the Patriots, and like throughout his career, he he dominated the Buffalo Bills, and his coach was Bill Belichick. So that was an interesting game. Now um, Jennifer Brady won that won that one and uh 
But another interesting one was up here in this tops, this top bracket, you had the number one seed, Ashley Barty and Carolina Mukova. I was like, kind oh, look at that Carolina. And like, I was just thinking about the riddle, how Cam Newton took over for Tom Brady and he came over from Carolina and how it, be, how it would make a lot of sense if this girl named Carolina played Jennifer Brady. And sure enough, that's what ended up happening. And we had a, had a decode um, over on Free to Find Truth. If you follow Alexandra, she's a, she's a former tennis player. So she, she knows all these tennis players really well. We've kind of been working together on decodes, decodes and a lot lined up for this Mikova girl. So here's the note, here's the notes from that that matchup. But she was a plus 386 underdog, so almost four to one odds. We said Mikova's gonna upset this number one because Barty. I'll show you Barty. Uh, I had her thing pulled up. Oh yeah, here it is. Ashley Barty, women, women's uh, ranked number one. She had 65 losses, and so like, okay, she can get lost 66. And it all synced up for her to get that because it was 66 days before her next birthday. She could get her 66 loss, and her name Barty. Barty is 66. See, and she's born. She's born uh, 424, is that it? Let me check her birthday right quick. Um, we'll go over here and click on her Wikipedia page. Yeah, 424, that's her birthday. 424, and then that game was 17. So yeah, see how it's... Uh, See how it's 66 days before her birthday? And then she got her 66 loss and her name is 66. So that was pretty good. And then, oh yeah, and then, and then the day, the day of that match was February 17th, the day leaving 317 days left in the year and 317 is a 66 prime number. So all those 66 is stacked up for Mukova to upset. Now, remember I said 27 is the best, the biggest number in tennis. Like you go throughout history, you'll see a lot of players made their big accomplishments when they were 27 years old and just, oh, just, 27 days after their birthday they'll win or if they're ranked 27 stuff like that but anyways this girl uh carolina mukova look she's ranked number 27 and now they also give them a doubles rank like i guess they play some of them play doubles as well and look her rank is number 266 in doubles and like right now we're in the time of the 266 pope pope francis so there's that big like jesuit tribute right there like oh man this girl has the she has the numbers to do it and uh anyway we posted this and somebody in the comments they're like all right i'm going for it and the, and she ended up losing the first set so she you have to win two out of three sets so like the first person to win two two sets out of a best of three well in the live betting her odds dropped down to plus 900 nine to one and this person got in right there so that was a big that was a big win for her to come back and like knowing knowing this code we knew it was in the bag we knew it was in the bag for her so yeah you can see the football riddle here brady carolina pegula the bills girl and then on the other part of the semifinals you've had serena williams and she's had a good riddle all tournament she's the 10 seed now she's facing the three seed, Naomi Osaka. Just think about there's been there's been like a lot of articles and stuff uh, comparing Williams to Tom Brady, like saying that she's the goat of tennis. That's how Tom Brady's the goat of football. She's 39 years old, and uh, see like different 
news sites are always putting off this stuff. She's the goat of tennis. Blah, blah, blah. So anyway. Uh, yeah, and she's the 10th seed. Tom Brady in his 10th Super Bowl. And actually, um, her name... Her name syncs, syncs up really well with Tom Brady, like the, the name Williams. It's a match in three out of four cyph ciphers, 98, 35, 118. So she's been, she's just been getting through round by round, round by round, getting through. And now this is like a pretty anticipated matchup because Osaka, she's, oh, she's one of the more hyped up tennis players as well she's like part part japanese and i guess her father is from haiti haiti haitian descent so anyway naomi osaka so let's talk about oh what the final oh well, i guess we can talk about more like more like this like the 20 you have here the brady and yukova 22 and 25 that's synced up to tampa bay uh, cause Tampa Bay is 79 and that's the 22nd prime number and it's also 25. And then if you have 22 and 25, that's 47. Tampa Bay is also 47 to so see how they're putting the Tampa Bay riddle, <clears throat> putting the Tampa Bay riddle through these, this tennis match. Now, I think things look a little bit better for Brady and things look a little bit better for Williams for this final so the women's final is going to be on February 20th, 220. And the name Jennifer Brady, Jennifer Brady is a uh, 220. 220 right there. And uh, the football reel continues with that. Because National Football League equals 220 as well. So you could have the football riddle on February 20th. Makes a lot of sense. And she also has a great championship name. Jennifer Brady 131. Just like championship is 131. So she has a little bit better riddle. And also, let's look at her profile here. Jennifer Brady... Singles rank number 24. Now, Serena Williams has 23 grand slams right now. She's looking to get her 24th. So it could make a lot of sense for her to get her 24th slam win over number 24 ranked player named Brady in the football ritual. She's become the GOAT of tennis. Because the all-time person of tennis that has the most that has the most Grand Slam wins is named Margaret Court. She has 24 wins, 24 Grand Slam wins. So anyway, she's trying to tie her. Now, Yukova does have 23 losses, so she could get her 24th if she was the one to go. But I think that that Brady Riddle, that Brady Riddle is a little bit better. So let's see what else we got in the notes here. Nikova and Barty, Williams and Osaka. Serena, she's looking for a 24 slam at 39 years old. And think about how she's uh she's like sponsored by Nike and all that. Notice the word Nike is 39, she's 39, and also equals 24, so it could be kind of like a tribute to her brand. Oh, Nike's also 21. Here we are at the beginning of 2021. Uh, so there's that. The last time Serena won a major slam tournament was the Australian Open of 2017. And, uh, that was 212 weeks ago. And the word Australian Open's 212. So I believe that, I believe the date of that tournament was like January 29, 2017. And the finals, 220. Let's see. Is that right? Yeah, there it is. 212 weeks, exactly. 
actually I think it was 28 128 to 220 yeah 212 weeks so yeah I think that's what it does so that fits good and uh, yeah like I think the men's final is on February 21st and the women is on 220 so you kind of got that 212 just with the general overall tournament and so yeah we got a uh, we got some more notes here for Williams in Osaka things look a little bit better for Williams she's slight underdog plus 150 approximately and uh, she her <laughs> her record in Grand Slam finals or semi-finals is 35 and 5 so she's looking for that 36th win and uh, Naomi Osaka is 36 She got the 36 and 63. And um, so yeah, let's oh yeah, and then like tennis is 36. So you know it's a be a symbolic win. Symbolic win for her to get that. Um I wanna say we'll check Serena's stats. I wanna say she was like going for 360. 363rd win or something like that. Oh, she's got a lot of games. 837. Currently ranked number 11 in the world. Yes. Yeah, um... She's also going for like eighth Australian Open title. So if she got her 24th slam and her eighth Australian Open, you could get the 824 thing for a comparison to Kobe. He's also kind of another another tribute. And like the finals is on 22021. That's exactly one year and 26 days after Kobe Bryant's death, who died on 126 last year. So yeah, we'll see how that goes. Um, on the men's side, talk about that just a little bit. Novak Djokovic is the one seed. He's like the best, best player in the world. But I notice he does have a good riddle to get to the final because his name, like his his uh, nickname, is called Joker Noel, and like that's his that that's the name of his. Uh, Twitter account and everything and like I said it's the 109th tournament Australian Open and the 39th not 39th 53rd of the modern era see how his name Joker Knowles 109 and 53 and then like his real name his real name is also 53 Novak Djokovic 53 so it looks pretty pretty good for him Looks pretty good for him on the men's side. So yeah, that's uh, mostly the conclusion thing. You know, is uh, twenty-seven is the most important number to tennis, and it looks like they're doing a football riddle through the women's side. And uh, yeah, you got. Serena Williams, she's wearing this, uh, they call this a cat suit. It's something like Florence Griffith Joyner, the track player used to wear. It's like one leg is open and one leg is, uh, like has pants on it or whatever. So anyway, like a unique style of clothing choice for this. But just thinking about like Catwoman, all that kind of stuff. And just uh, Cam Newton, the Black Panther and Chadwick Boseman. It's kind of been a theme lately. Black Panther party, yeah, tennis, tennis, twenty-seven. But I guess that's mostly it. Just check these notes. I had it had like all the players decoded and stuff going in. Yeah, the tournament started on the 39th day of the year, and 39 is important to Serena.
But yeah, I guess we'll uh, I guess we'll leave it there, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.